picking up a Tato Grand Champion cockpit. Now guys, these things these things are pretty rare by the looks of things. I can, I've seen one other in the UK um, and that, apparently that one went from Germany to Denmark I think and then back to the, or from the UK to Germany, to, anyway, went around Europe, that particular one, quite funny actually, the guy actually packaged it up in a crate that looked like the um, crates from the, from the original Indiana Jones movie <laughs> when he shipped it, um, so cool, but anyway, so this, this cockpit is awesome, I mean, like, oh god, the artwork on this cockpit, guys, I'm absolutely in love with, I think it's just looks so so this is the thing guys it, it was listed as a pole position um, because it's actually got pole position 2 in it it's got a P pole position P um, 2 PCB in there and it's playing pole position and it currently works apparently and there we go it is in the house <laughs> and you can see it there I've just turned it on it's booting up and um, yeah, it's doing some pretty glitchy sort of stuff that it shouldn't be doing at the start. It does do a sort of a power on self test, but it shouldn't be looking like that. But it will magically bounce to life at some point while I record this video, I'm sure. Um, haven't seen a pattern in it. I'm suspecting power. I'm hoping it is, guys, because these, these pole position boards can be really problematic. Um, but when it does fire up and run, it does run. So it could be the edge connector. Could be just you know just not getting quite the five volts. But I haven't checked any of that yet. Just wanted to get this inside the house, <laughs> which we have achieved. Now we put the door back on the house. <laughs> so anyway, so let's have a look over the cab and see what we have here, um, and then we'll see what we're gonna do next so the the main cab itself as you can see it's really really good condition and I mean look at that artwork it's just superb and you know no real deep scratches or anything we've got hey we've got some dirt around I mean it's been outside look at this it's just not I mean this is gonna clean up really well it's just got surface dirt I have just bought it in there as it was no cleaning at all, it's covered still in the original dust. <laughs> so, around the back here, luckily the Perspex is um, all in good shape. There's only just one sort of uh, scratch on the Perspex up here, but other than that, it's ex absolutely perfect. You'd never be able to get that as a replacement, you know. So it is com absolute complete. We're missing a little bit of the artwork on the back here, as you can see. Um, I'm not too fussed about that. You know, the, the other side of the cabinet is just as good as this, this side. Um, you know, really it is in very, very good shape. You know, other than the dust. Looking in here, you know, it's all very dusty. And uh, it's got all the original keys, though, still. Guys, look at that, for the coin box and everything. All original. And this is where it changes a little bit. So we're missing here should be a little fuel gauge. Obviously not for pole position, but on the original Gran Turismo there was a fuel gauge there. I'm not sure if it was a working fuel gauge or not, but that was there. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Just while we're talking, it's come up. And look, while while I carry on with this, it's more than likely going to crash along the way. I have managed to have one game on it. So, uh, you know, when it works, it's working perfect. So it does tend to suggest to me that it is just something power related, then it's watchdogging or resetting in some shape or form. Um, so I'll have to check that out. But uh, yeah, back to the control panel area. This was the original instructions for, um, for Grand Champion. And of course, with the screen, it would have the vertical screen with all the LEDs down the side for the original game that's been converted, the glass, but hard to see in here, but the the new plexi that is around here has got a few scratches on it and stuff, but it looks okay, I don't know where they got that from because it's not a standard pole position one per se. Um, up here the roof, everything looks good. And, oh, here we go, we can just see that you hear the two beeps and you can get the third beep. And it just actually reset uh, again. 
get through three beeps. And it may be just that extra bit of voltage, you know, for those, those sound beeps, because I've seen it actually uh, fault a few times while it's doing that. Might be just enough to pull the, set the voltage down for it to uh, drop below what it needs. But yeah, the back um, is all good. It's got speakers in the back here. The speakers weren't actually working. I have had, had, a, had a go as we managed to get a go and speakers weren't working and this wasn't working. We have connected up the cable in between here. Um, he was pointing out that there was some sort of problem with the switch he thought here. Um, given that we're not, not getting rear speakers as well, I don't know if that's all connected to the you know problem with the cable through to the back. I don't know, I have to check all that out guys, but at the moment I can't get into high gear anyway, even if I have a game. So can't really play pole position in low gear, you really don't get far. <laughs> the steering wheel is uh, needs some serious attention, there it goes again. Um, it spins forever. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> stop it, it's, um, yeah, all covered, I think, with old gaffer tape by the looks of things. On this side of the cabinet, it's pretty cool. It actually has the starting uh, switch, so when you start the game, that actually works, and uh, rip that up. Got the original gauges from uh, Grand Champion, and the one on the right, I believe, should actually, should be a functioning gauge. Obviously, won't be with pole position, but uh, it used to be with Grand Champion. And you can hear uh, the game just resetting like crazy at the moment. Um, so anyway, I'm going to definitely check out the uh, the voltage, get all this cleaned up in here, and uh, I'm really, I really think this is going to clean up really, really well, guys. Bit of a shame about that gap. I might just get a bit of perspex or something to to cover that up. Um, but other than that, it is absolutely awesome so so happy and that's it that brings us to the end of another video and what that was epic i said it would be epic it was an epic move i can't believe we actually got it in you know again last night i was so close to pulling the pin on this on buying this and now that it's in here i'm so glad that i didn't pull the pin on it because it's really it's just an awesome looking cab. Again, I'm pleased that it's converted um, so that, you know, I don't have, you know, I wouldn't do that anyway. I wouldn't buy a cab that if it was set up with Grand Champion um, and convert it. I'd have to leave it original, but yeah, it wouldn't suit that cab style. So this is awesome. It's got some issues, as we can see, um, but hopefully that's just a voltage thing and then the connection through to the, the shifter. Hopefully that's an easy fix, guys. So. Anyway, we shall come back to this another day when it's all cleaned up and I've done those checks and uh, hopefully we can play some, uh, some pole position and I'm, I'm really going to play this thing like crazy. I love this game and it's so cool to do that in the cockpit. So I just don't know what's going to happen next. <laughs> so happy to share that with you guys. Hope you had fun. Again, have a good week. Until uh, next time, ciao for now.